Hello again. We're back for part two. And let me introduce myself since I didn't do that in the first go round. Uh, my name is Mary Ann Snow and I teach nursing assistants for Central New Mexico Community College in Albuquerque. So we, in part one, we talked about the basics for measuring and recording fluid intake. Uh, recording intake is a basic skill for nursing assistants. You will do this for every meal and snack that the person eats throughout the day. And so I wanna focus on just the liquid intake portion of this skill for right now. So in part one, we looked at all of these containers that were full because that's how they are when they come out of the kitchen and they're served to the person. So we calculated that 100% of the amount in these containers came out to 840 mLs and 50% of that would be 420 mLs. We're only going to record in quarter increments, quarter percentages. So this is really going to bother some of the folks who are more mathematically inclined because it isn't as precise as they would like it to be but there's no need to do long division. We're not gonna have anything that's a 33 and a third percentage or 79%. Um, it's going to fall into one of those categories. Remember, this is an approximation because we don't have a measuring device at the table where we can really measure these out. We're just approximating. So if we um, call this person over here, person A, and we're going to figure out how much they drank from their meal. So they didn't like this very much, so they didn't drink any of it. And in this six ounce glass, I'm going to say they left behind one ounce, because we can only judge this by what they left behind. And then we're figuring that whatever's not in the glass got inside them. So what got inside them is five ounces, and there's one ounce left. So let's convert this to our ml amount with our ml conversions here. So five times three is 15, add a zero, so that's 150 mLs. Now, they like this, they drank all of it, so that's four ounces. So that's 120 mLs. And this was maybe breakfast, and they had a nice hot cup of coffee, and they really liked that. So they got 240 mLs from there. So let's add these up, okay? 150, 120 is 270, and then 240 added to that is seven and four is 11, carry your one. So we have 510 mLs is the, our approximate total. And so what percentage is that the closest to this 510 mLs? Well, it's significantly over 420. So I'm gonna give him credit for 75% of his liquid intake. And if we look at the containers, that makes sense because he drank most of what was served to him, okay? So that's what I'm gonna record on his meal ticket for fluid intake for that meal, all right? Now let's take a look at person B here and see what they did. All right, this is a 10 ounce container. I'm gonna call this uh, two ounces left behind. So I'm gonna say that he got eight ounces inside him. And we know that that's 240 mLs because we've been practicing a bit with this. Now, six ounces and I'm gonna say there's four ounces about left behind there. So I'm gonna give him credit for two ounces which is 60 mLs. So right here, I have 300 mLs. I'm gonna say he left about a quarter of the glass behind. So he took in three quarters. 
Do I hear moaning and groaning about fractions? There's no need for fear of fractions. So we'll come back to this, okay? Now over here, maybe his hot chocolate had gotten too cold for him to enjoy it, so he only had a couple sips, and he only took one ounce, which is 30 mLs. All right, so let's come back here, because there's no need to worry about fractions. We have four units in here, four ounces, so there's four things, okay? Okay, and he drank three of those units, three of those four units. Each one of these is an ounce to give us a total of four ounces. And he drank three of those three-fourths. So that equals 30 mLs in each one of those, so that equals 90 mLs. So let's add this up. This 90 and 30 is 120, and we had 300 from over here. And so that adds up very conveniently to 420 mLs, which is exactly 50% of what he was served. And that kind of makes sense when you look at the distribution of what was left behind, that he only drank half of what was there. So that's what I'm gonna record on his meal ticket, or hers. So, um, Again, this is something that will take practice, and you will get practice when you're doing this in the clinical setting here in a little bit when we get to that part of the course, because um, you'll be doing that the first day of your clinical experience. We'll be doing some of this kind of work. So if you have any questions, talk them over with your instructor, um, and hopefully this has been helpful for you to get um, a good start on this process of estimating fluid intake for documenting. So best wishes and um, thank you for listening.